Hi, welcome to Visa's booth at Display Week 2025. This year we're showing a lot of new capabilities and products that are actually commercially available. This Yoga uh, is a True Black 1000 OLED display, uh, commercially available. That uh, was a prototype we showed at CES at the beginning of the year, and now you can buy uh, these uh, pretty much online or wherever. Very high contrast. Very, very high. Well, True Black 1000 is the highest tier associated with OLED that indicates how bright it can get. So 1000 nits uh, is the peak luminance for True Black 1000 plus uh, enhanced color accuracy of the display panel standards. So great color and really bright lights and really dark darks. Nice. One of the nicest laptop displays. Yeah, it's and beautiful. It, uh, and this video is uh, available on YouTube. It kind of highlights the, the true benefits of OLED, which is Darks are very, very dark, almost completely off. And over here, we have shipping products that we bought for this specific demos. Multiple certifications for our new display panel standards. It's a 27G850A, it's display HDR600. It's also certified adaptive sync. And here we're just running a, a cool demo from Blurbusters to kind of highlight what dual mode means. So in this particular mode, it's running at 240 frames per second, uh, 4K image. So beauty of dual mode is we allow two certifications. If I can find the button, um, on the left here, left third. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is the dual mode, oh, here it is. So uh, out-of-box performance is what we prefer for our certification standards so the end user gets it configured and tested in the manner that it was certified. In this case, we have dual mode uh, added to the spec, so you can quickly switch to an alternate mode. It loads another EDID, and in this case, it's 1080p at 480 frames per second. So you can use the same monitor with minimal configuration. Both modes are certified. And this mode, you'd use it for gaming. And if you go back to, you want to do some work or watch a, a movie or whatever, you switch back to 4K, 240. And, and both modes are certified by Visa and measured accordingly. And the next demo here is uh, similar to what we showed at CES, but a different commercial product. These are LGE uh, displays, 27GX790A. It's Achieve the highest certification for clear MR or clear motion ratio, 21,000. That's just basically a measure of blurry versus clear pixels. And this is the highest performance tier we have. So any fast moving image across the screen is gonna have some transition between the edges and we measure the ratio of blurry to clear pixels. And that's what clear MR goes. And you can go to clearmr.org, look at our spec requirements, our tiers, and how to test it. And this also certified display HDR true black. Anytime you see a true black designation on our display HDR, that means it's typically OLED. That means that darks can get very, very dark. Um, and then over here we have the Yoga laptop from Lenovo. This is the first commercially available true black 1000 certified OLED uh, laptop. It's totally available. It's, if you yeah, want to get the coolest it. display laptop, yeah. It might be it. Yeah, it was available. Uh, we, we purchased it for demos, and it's also uh, an upgrade from what we showed at CES this year, which was a prototype. It's got a Samsung panel in the back that was True Black certified, but not in an end product yet. And this and is commercially We're available. using this to check the, the black levels? Yeah, so Konica Minolta loaned us a probe. This is one of their, their CA527 color analyzer. So this is how we measure uh, display HDR, true black uh, parameters uh, with the colorimeter that gives you color accuracy, maximum luminance in nits, etc. So if you go to displayhdr.org, you can see all the standard tiers that we test to. And this particular laptop, true black 1000, was what we added last year. Nice. Then we move over to the to right here, and these are just DisplayPort 2.1 UHBR demos. So we have a, a, a system with an AMD 7800 graphics card. 
the output on the back is full size enhanced DP, so it's capable of ultra high bit rates. In this particular port, we have an active cable plugged in. So it's an active LRD cable from a company called Acon. They're undergoing certification now. At CES earlier this year, we were showing prototypes. This is an end product that will be certified here shortly, assuming we could clear the last test requirements. We also are showing with the same system this multifunction dock. It's actually marketed as a Thunderbolt 5 dock, but it's USB 4 version 2, which supports ultra high bit rates on the input and can uh, put out UHBR signals to displays that have higher resolution refresh rate. And in this case, we also have a Type C cable from Luxure ICT that is UHBR capable LRD or linear redriver active cable. This guy is, I believe, two and a half meters long. Typically, you're limited when you run UHBR rates. Uh, the highest rate is 20 gig to roughly 0.8 meters. But with active cables, you can get one and a half, two meter, three meter, whatever the user wants. And this uh, spec you talk about, uh, L LRD? Linear L Redriver, LRD, yeah. We have a compliance test specification that specifies all the additional tests because it's different from a passive cable in that it's actively amplifying the signals that come into one end and transporting those to the receiver. So there's a chip at each end that buffers the signal and reduces the insertion loss. Uh, so you can get longer reach at the highest supported data rate. Do you think there'll be more and more of this on the market? Oh, absolutely. With the high-end uh, graphics cards, uh, passive cables are more, or they're readily available, but they're short. So if you have a desktop and you want it on the floor, you can drive uh, with a longer cable to your monitors. Also daisy chain them with the new MST daisy chainable monitors that we have from uh, all right, so it's daisy chaining from one to the next. Yeah. To the next. Well, this particular monitor is connected to the output of this hub just to show the tunneling. So this is Thunderbolt 5 or USB 4 V2 with DisplayPort tunneled over that protocol. And then this hub breaks out the DisplayPort signals to feed it into the monitor. But this particular monitor, as I said, is connected physically to the full-size DisplayPort output of that card. And then this monitor is daisy chained to this one. So it has an input and an output. This output goes to this display. And these are all 4K, 240 hertz. So a single graphics card is driving these two displays daisy chained together. Is a lot of uh, daisy chaining happening in the industry or it's going to be much more in the future? I believe it's going to be much more common in the future. We just released an updated CTS or compliance test specification that adds test equipment support and testing for MST displays so that we can guarantee that MST works properly with all different products kind of connected together and interoperable uh, by design. Similar so, certification that we have for DisplayPort products today, but with a focus on MST updates and interoperability. So uh, you are satisfied when you see more and more products come to the market that implement all these things you're talking about? Yeah. And uh, end users think it makes sense how it's implemented? Yeah, most 99% of all feedback on MST is people love it. They love to be able to cook daisy chain displays because most people like two or three displays to work on. And this allows you to connect them all together with only one available source port. Depends on the resolutions that you're driving. In this particular case, you, a single port can't drive three, 4K, 240 hertz displays. It just doesn't have the bandwidth. But with daisy chaining on uh, most 4K displays, you can get two, three, whatever you, the GPU supports. And this is the cable you're using? Yeah, this is the cable uh, that's a DisplayPort 2.1 active LRD cable. We've classified it as DP80LL, which means low loss because it amplifies the signal, so it can be much longer uh, with those active components. All right, and it's right there? That's actually yeah. in the back here. So this is the active LRD Acon cable. It's full-sized enhanced DP, meaning it supports up to UHBR 20.